Fucking hey, that safety guy here. Question. Probably rhetorical, but got to ask anyway. Why is it that the safety guy, the safety professional, will tell you to do something? Usually, you know, to save your life or save the grief. But you don't listen to us. And you wait until, in Ontario's case, the Ministry of Labor shows up and shuts you down. Or in any other uh, province or state where your health and safety legislative body comes down and shuts you down for like a week on week, two weeks, three weeks, depending on what kind of mood they're in. You know we're here to help you, right? So let's just say I come by and I see your confined space uh, and you're not keeping records. Uh, no one has their documentation on, uh, on site, like their records of training. Um, we don't know how many people are in the hall. Uh, we don't know what any readings are because you haven't been taking them or at least not writing them down. So I tell you, you need to keep a record of this. It's actually a legislative requirement. Um, where is it? Well, I didn't have it. I don't need it. Well, you need to start doing it. Okay, okay, okay. So they start doing it. And then I leave. And then a week later, they come back. And the Ministry of Labor comes in and asks them for the same documentation. And they go, I don't know. I didn't know we had to do it, even though I told you the week before. So what does the Ministry of Labor do in this case? Shut you down so that you don't die. And then on top of that, when the Ministry of Labor talks to you, when the legislative body's official talks to you, don't give them crap. Don't say, I don't have time. Don't say, um, I'm on my way to a meeting. They get a little upset and they shut you down for longer. So, the reason why the safety professional is on site, high rise, low rise, industrial, whatever it is, we are like the go-between, all right? We are trained, versed, well-versed in a lot of things safety. Some of us have more experience in other specific areas. However, we're here to keep you away from the Ministry of Labor so that when those legislative people come on, they don't stop work. So I guess the actual question is, be it rhetorical or not, is why don't you listen to us in the first place? Seriously. <laughs> we save you so much grief because we're here to educate. We're here to make sure that you do your job properly. We're here to make sure you do your job well and safe. The legislative body enforcement people don't care. Their job is to make sure you're doing it safe. If you're not, if you're breaking the law, they stop you. And it costs you a whole lot more money in time, in shutdown, in wages, in paperwork, than if you would have just, I don't know, listened to the safety professional in the first place. So again, I've said it before, and I'll probably gotta say it again. We're not here to help, we're not here to hinder you, we're not, we're not here to get you uh, to slow you down. We're here to make sure that you're doing it safe so that when the government official does come on site, they walk on by because there's nothing to see here, because you look good, because you look like you know what you're doing. If you look like you know what you're doing, chances are they're gonna leave you alone. If you look like a shit show or a nightmare, they're gonna stop, they're gonna ask all kinds of difficult questions, and if you can't answer them, you're done. So again, we're not here to get in your way, we're here to help you. We're that go-between, we're that buffer between you the worker, you the employer, and the Ministry of Labor or that, that legislative government official.